Hi everybody, this is George with Go Designs. Uh, I wanted to visit with everybody and, and talk about um, the design of a swimming pool. You know, um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things to talk about. Um, you know, pools just aren't holes in the ground. You know, they're for entertaining, and so a lot of times um, you you think you want a pool, but you're not sure um, what to expect. So I just want to kind of point out a couple of features. Uh, that are really important uh, for the pool. Uh, if you see over here on the far side, uh, we've, we've got a bench and a couple of access steps. Um, a lot of times, many pools don't have any benches. And the benches are a place for people to lounge, you know, so you can sit and have a drink. Um, if you get a little cramp, you get somewhere where you can you know, rest and be safe. Uh, and then, of course, accessibility around the pool, you know, access to get in and out. You, you don't have to come all the way back to the steps. Um, you can get in and out from all different locations, uh, which is really convenient. It's good for uh, for kids and adults and uh, getting in and out because a lot of the times you have to get on your hands and knees and you know get your legs in there or jump into the pool. Here you can actually walk and sit and get into the pool. Uh, we've also, if you look down here, uh, the steps, uh, we've put an extra step in there. You know, it just had added convenience. You know, of course, the more gunite, the more cost. That's why you don't see a lot of benches and extra steps because it costs a lot more. Um, but if, um, when we let our clients know, hey, these are important features, you know, they're like, yeah, that's a good value. You know, so, so we add those extra steps. We've made the second step, we uh, made it a huge bench area. So now you've got extra seating outside the spa in the pool. You've got seating on the other side. Um, it's a very convenient. We've also added a step on that side um, so that if you're in the pool, you can get, get in and out of the spa, you know, very convenient versus having to get all the way out of the pool and then get on your hands and knees or throw your legs over. Uh, you can just stand up and walk in. And, and I'll show you kind of an example of that. Um, some other things that we do is we typically have a minimum of five returns in our swimming pool. So you'll see the little jets of the PVC um, throughout the pool. What that is, of course, is that's more circulation. You know, a lot of pools only have three returns and they're on one side. You know, we have them on all sides and we want to get that water moving for good circulation. Um, a sun deck is probably the most popular part of a swimming pool. So we've got a large sun deck here. Uh, we've got a little return for a little uh, water, uh, frothing water. Uh, but if you notice, we put some extra jets um, on the sun deck area because we want to move, uh, you know, settling sand or dirt. We want to move it off the sun deck. Um, this particular hot tub is a, uh, is, a is level, um, so it's not raised. Uh, we've got a pool cover that's going to be coming, uh, going to be opening and closing. Uh, so you know, level is what we needed at this point. Uh, I want to talk about the spa. You know, watch your step over here. You know, so the spa, you know, a lot of times they're too small, you know, so we're talking about the function and the design of the spa, you know, so that a lot of people can sit in there and, and, um, and be comfortable. You know, you can definitely get six adults in here comfortably, you know, probably 10 or 12 teenagers. Uh, but if you notice, they've got a, another set of steps in the spa, you know, and again, a lot of times um, uh, a spa is too small, you can't have that uh, or nobody's talking about it. So how do you get into a level spa? You know, you have to get on your knees. Uh, or a handrail and, and, and still, you know, it kind of can be dangerous. Here we have a, a set of steps like the pool. You can actually walk in and out of the spa. Um, so I'm gonna walk in and kind of just show you how convenient it is. Of course, there's no coping, there's no plaster right now. We did water the, the, the gunite. You can see it drying already, uh, but that's gonna happen twice a day um, because it's in the curing stages, you know? So part of the uh, construction techniques to make your shell stronger is the curing, but it needs water because it's so hot. Um, so water helps the curing process and makes the pool stronger. If you don't water your shell, you know, you're reducing the strength. So here, you know, I'm on the first step, I'm on the second step, I'm on the third step, and then I'm in the spa, you know, and I'm an old guy, so it's hard on my knees, right? So this would be a lot easier than getting on my hands and knees and getting into the spa. Um, another thing too, as you can see, this is our standard bench, you know, so this is, uh, uh, minus 18, you know, which, you know, is a comfortable seating area and your jets are going to hit you kind of in the middle of your back. Um, and then on this side, we've actually gone lower. I don't know if you can see the trend, the step and then the lower section of the spa and the jets, of course, they're at the same level. So they're actually higher on your back, you know, so um, you can get therapy lower and upper back or, you know, for taller or shorter people, like shorter people like me, and I'll sit on this side and then the mid taller people over here. 
But again, we have an access step, you know, so we can, you know, get back and forth into the pool. We can get back and forth into the pool here. We can get out of the pool, out of the pool, out of the pool, out of the pool. Uh, notice also we have two skimmers. A lot of pools only have one skimmer. Um, there is a, a ratio like 500 square feet, you need another skimmer, but uh, you know, a lot of times the more the better. You know, so two skimmers, you know, you got more surface water being taken out. Uh, five returns, you got more uh, water coming in, uh, good circulation. Uh, we've added, of course, the safety drains in the bottom. We've added some extra drains on the side wall, you know, for future, uh, in case our client wants to add a water feature later. Um, but just a, a lot of details uh, from the design point uh, of why, you know, why we're recommending certain things or why we're doing things. A lot of times um, people aren't thinking about those things and then it's too late. And then you have to spend twice as much to remodel. So, uh, and then just a real quick span over there. Uh, we have our looters limestone. We're gonna be building our coping of the pool and also the kitchen. Uh, again, it's nice to have uh, stone on the edge of the pool because we have movement. A lot of times it's just concrete and concrete, you say there's two types of concrete, cracked and gonna crack. Um, and so by having a piece of stone, if it were to crack, we can replace it. It's gonna look good for the life of the pool. So, cool, good stuff, right? <laughs>